Hello Royalty, good morning and welcome to our touch point today. My name is God Gift Austin, your regular host and anchor to this channel. Like we used to do it to pick our topics, we deliberate on them scripturally to find out the mind of God in those areas of concerns raised and how to respond accordingly. In so doing, those questions have lingered over the years in our hearts and sometimes seem to have defied answers are being tackled. Beloved, I have no doubt that your questions have been taken care of in this platform. All you just need to do is to follow us on our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channels, listen to the messages uploaded there, over 300 of them, before you finish going through them, you discover how much the Lord has actually dealt with your questions. I also want to urge you to remember to share your testimonies as the Lord is blessing you and also let others know what God is doing in this platform and ministry. And as you keep doing that, may your name, may the name of God be glorified in your lives in Jesus name. Amen. For a long time now we have been talking about the topic against and we have you no know, doubt with several questions but this question that we have been dealing on is why will people come against me what causes people to come against me and we look at it that satan ordinarily can raise his agent to raise dust against us out of jealousy and kind of accusation and persecution people can also come against us out of jealousy People can also come against us even by our own cause. And also the other issues that people, you know, may, you know, hang on to come against us. So this morning we also look at another point. Though we read the passage in Acts of Apostles chapter, Acts of Apostles chapter 6, <clears throat> verse 9 to 11. And um, then we want to look at what that actually was talking about you know he said these men turn against Stephen because his wisdom which came from God clearly made more sense than their argument <clears throat> so when you speak with divine wisdom some people don't want to hear it because they are against God's way of living Acts of Apostles chapter 16 19 to 24 her master's hopes of wealth were now uh, shattered, so they grabbed Paul and Silas and dragged them before the authorities at the marketplace. The whole city is in you know, an opera because of these Jews. They shouted to the city officials, they are teaching customs that are illegal to all Romans to practice. A mob quickly formed against Paul and Silas, and the city officials ordered them striped and beaten with uh, wooden rods. They were severely beaten, and then they were thrown into prison. The jailer was ordered to make sure they didn't escape, so the jailer put them into the inner dungeon and clamped their feet in the stock. Alright, so when others feel threatened, they may turn against us. The bottom line here is that the gospel itself is an indictment on the unbelievers. So they don't want to hear it. Something that you hear and you become guilty immediately. That is what the gospel is. So the people don't want to hear. And once you begin to declare it in their midst, they come against you. They enjoy what they are doing. They enjoy their sinful delicacies and they don't want to quit it. So when you bring something contrary to what they believe, they come against you. Understand? So I want us to pray this morning. Perhaps you have witnessed this kind of life, people coming against you because you are saying the truth. You are like almost giving up. Don't give up. You are on the right path. Because if what you are doing is not genuine, you will not have opposition. But because you are on the right path, that is why you are having opposition. I want us to pray this morning. And perhaps you want to give your life to Christ. Just pray after me, Lord Jesus. 
Thank you for this opportunity. Please save my soul from eternal condemnation. Save me from being a novice and help me to grow speedily, to mature uh, into the person you want me to become. Save my soul from eternal hell. Breathe upon me the breath of life. Wash me by your blood. Write my name in the book of life. Delete it from the book of death. I want to live and reign with you in eternity. Satan, withdraw your feeding hands out of my life. You did not make me, neither can you keep me. My life belongs to Jesus, and to him I have returned. Thank you, Father, I am born again. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. If you have prayed this prayer with me, congratulations. And I want to encourage you to fix your gaze, remain and keep fellowshipping with us at this table where the perfect law of liberty that set men free is being delivered. You will never get it wrong doing the right thing. May the name of God be glorified in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. My listeners all over the world, may God bless you. May the face of the Lord shine upon you. This new week you enter, you will conquer new grounds in the name of Jesus. You are coming back with testimonies. When people are saying there is a casting down, your testimony shall be there is a lifting up. You will never confess a negative, neither will the negative visit you in the name of Jesus Christ. It shall be well with you. Go and prosper. The Lord is ahead of you. In Jesus' name, amen.